what you want your property portfolio to give you. When you're financially free, what do you want it to look like? When you've achieved those property income goals, do you want your property portfolio, for example, to give you a passive income? If you're looking for a passive income, then you must use an investment strategy. You know, if you're someone that when you get financially free wants to stop and be able to live off the money, but do other things, not have another job of looking after property, then you've got to use an investment strategy. You see, there are some property strategies that I call job strategies because they give you a property job. They might create you great cash flow, but you're, you've still got a job. You've replaced your current job with a new job and you have to trade your time, extra time into the property investing to get the extra returns, the extra cash flow. So for example, renting a room, a house by the room as an HMO, for example, that's a job strategy. It gives you more cash flow today but you can't expect a job strategy to give you a passive income once you've reached your income goal because you've still got the HMO and it still needs looking after. So what it will give you is a massive property job. And if that's what you want, that's great, but you need to work out, do I want to be an investor or do I want a job strategy? Do I want to lose my job, but I'm still happy to work on this and I'm still happy to work on it long-term. When I'm financially free, I'm still happy to work on it. Then you want a job strategy. If you want property to give you a passive income, which is what I want, then you must follow an investment strategy today. And when you do this, you'll build a property portfolio from day one that runs without you. A property portfolio that from day one gives you a passive property income. 